sick. I was uh, one of the uh, kids that witnessed the Hindenburg crashing back in 1937. It was quite an event. We were all scared to death that we were going to be killed. And for years, I didn't know the real reason why that went down. Everyone says, oh, the hydrogen. It wasn't the hydrogen. Some idiot in Germany mixed rocket fuel with the paint, and the lightning set it off and just weakened the airframe, and down she went. Now, I witnessed that. Thought we were all going to be killed. That's something I'll never forget. I'm 83 now, but boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was an event to remember. Almost everyone survived that event, right? Yes, they did. Yeah, the biggest danger was, uh, you know, from the uh, airframe coming on them. Yes. And the diesel tanks burning. Yes. You know, people fail to realize that uh, all the hydrogen went up in a tenth of a second. Yep. And what was left was the aluminum oxide on the uh, on the skin and the diesel tanks burning. Yep. You know, but that's given hydrogen a bad rap. Yes, it is. And uh, you know, that's basically stopped hydrogen development for all these years. I didn't know that. Yeah, it actually has. Uh, you know, everybody, every time I bring my fuel cell technology out, they're telling me, well, remember the Hindenburg. You know, so every single time I explain nothing to do this, with it. Of course not. But you know something, you know, when anything is new, it's like, you know, when you have running water, you know, plumbing first came in. Oh, you can drown in the bathtub. When electricity came out. Oh, you can get electrocuted. You know, now we, we, we regard these technologies, you know, without a second thought. And this hydrogen technology is falling prey to the same misnomers and misinformation. Yep. We saw a fire externally on the skin of this aircraft, nothing inside. Yeah, well the thing is, is since hydrogen goes up to 45 miles an hour, the minute that the top of the skin of the airship was pierced, 45 miles an hour into outer space. Gone. It's gone. And it's a clear flame, so it's not even something you'd, catch, you'd be able to capture on film. Yeah. So really all that was igniting was the airship. Yep. Um, you know, Popular Science did a study on this, the Mythbusters did a study on this, and you know, you know, that myth is busted that, you know, hydrogen was the cause of this. At the time, and, we didn't know. I was well, a 10-year-old kid, what did I know? <laughs> well, it's good to have an eyewitness, you know. Yeah, there's the, not many of us around anymore. There's not many around.